Today, since we've been observing plant, uh, soil and uh, plants, we've been observing those. Um, we are going to today observe something else for our terrarium. And some of you've noticed what that was. We're going to be observing and exploring crickets and what it has to do and going to have to do with our, um, with our, uh, with our food chain, okay? So we're developing our food chain. Please turn to page 19 in your journals. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our materials managers, and I've got a tray of objects. I'm going to show you those objects first, okay? I'm going to, uh, you're going to get, materials managers are going to get a tray, and on the tray, you've got a container. Inside the container is a cricket. Now, there might be one or two containers with more than one cricket, okay? You're also going to get four magnifying glasses, okay? Once this is on your table, the materials managers can come get the terrarium as well, okay? So one terrarium her group. Whoa. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, a real live yeah. cricket. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at what just grown. Give me five. That means your hands are free. Eyes on me. Give me five. Remember, we want to be participants, not observers, okay? We're going to observe, but we want to take part in it. Okay, good job. Now, the first thing we're going to observe is, are the crickets. Now, that's what we've got. I want you to uh, think about, and I want you to talk to your to your partner, to your buddy that's next to you, and I want you to decide whether or not you think that a cricket is an insect. Go ahead, talk to your buddy. Talk to your buddy. Decide whether or not a cricket is an insect. Because and it got antennas and uh, oh, and a thorax, um, a head thorax. And all. Give me five and look at me. That means nothing is in your hands. Your eyes are on me. We want to stay participants. Okay. I'd like to see all beautiful eyeballs. Hey, you can straighten that out. That's fine. Okay. What did you decide is a cricket, an insect, and be ready to tell me why? Okay. Isabel? Me and I think a cricket's not an insect because insects, most insects have six legs and crickets only have four. Okay, okay. So you think it only has four. Does, uh, does anyone want to add to what Isabel is, is saying? Isabel, would you choose someone, please? I... Do you agree with Isabel? I don't agree with Isabel because uh, the, uh, the cricket do... The cricket does, does, have, have, six yeah, does have six legs, and an uh, insect has an uh, actinum, actinum, thorax, and a head with antennas. Okay, good job. Uh, Skylar, would you uh, enlighten us, please? I think it is an insect. Uh, me and Jalen think it's an insect because it has six legs. Um, they need, like, somewhere to live, like, in grass, and also they need to, like, as sorry, so they can dig on the ground. Okay, all right. Well, with that in mind, and guys, you've had awesome in, uh, conversation and, oh, and good feedback. Excuse me? And also has antennas. Okay, good, 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 
that you're you're absolutely right. What I'd like you to do now as a group is I want you to take your magnifiers and your eyes, and we're going to observe carefully. You're going to do numbers one and two. That means you are going to draw. You're going to observe the crickets in your container. You're going to draw a large picture of one of the crickets, and then you're going to use your chart at the bottom there, and you're going to answer question two. Do you think a cricket is an insect? Why or why not? So you're going to have to prove it with your drawing, and don't forget to label when you draw. You just put the magnifying on. Go inside. Yeah. And then you got into the screen. Yeah. Let's see what. Well, you have to be able to Wait a minute. You got two antennas. Wait a minute. What's see, that okay? in the back? And you can put your uh, looks like uh, another, Looks like another two yeah. sets of antennas. Yeah, but why do you have to say that? Did you say now? Okay, did you look at your chart? Can you find everything? Yes. Can you find everything on on the uh, three body parts and two to four Okay. I like the way you're starting your drawing. Remember to label your drawings. Go ahead and start your drawing. Finish your drawing, hun. You want it turned around? There we go. Did you check and make sure that it has everything that's on the chart? Yes. You did? Okay. Can you draw it for me? Draw and label label the parts for me. Ah, I like the way you're using your chart to help you with your good job. What you're going to do is, like, you're going to draw a line like this and write what that part is. You're going to draw a line like this and and write down the word for that part, okay? So you're going to name all the parts for me, okay? Boys and girls, give me five. Look at me and give me five. Look at me and give me five. I like the way your hands are free. I like that all eyes are on me. Right, Isaiah? Right, Drake? Thank you. Okay. We have, you've been doing some great observations. I'm seeing some wonderful drawings and labeling. You can continue, but I want you to answer number two right now. Let's go ahead and answer number two so we can begin our discussion. You have to tell me if it is an insect or not and why. Okay. Go ahead and answer number two, then you can go back to think. Who like to share their response for number two. Who has it down and would like to share their write it down, uh, share their response? Okay, would you like to take the hot seat? Listen. I think it's an insect because it has six legs, three body parts, and four antennas. I know that because I took a magnifying glass and looked at it real close. Excellent. Okay. Jay, you want to go ahead and read yours? It is an insect because it got an abdomen, abdomen, thorax, and a head, six legs, and, and, and four, and antennas. That's, and that is why it's an insect. Okay, nice job. Let's give them the firecracker clap, please. Good job. Let's have a seat. Okay. Now you've told me that this is an insect and you told me why. You told me that it had three body parts. What was one of the body parts that you noticed? What was one of the body parts? Yes. The thorax. The thorax. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to have you show me what that is and where it is. What's another body part that you saw? What's another body part? The legs. Good. Okay, what's another body part? Um, those little pictures on its nose. Okay. All right. What else did you notice and see? Isabel? The antennae. The antennae. The antenna. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The, uh, the little... Is it, is it by the head or is it on the other end? It's by the head. It's by the head? Okay. It's legs. It's legs? Okay. All right. Well, let's look up here. 
I would like uh, CJ. What, weren't you one of the ones I'd asked you to? What body part did you identify? Would you come up here and show me where that is? The thorax. Do we agree that the thorax is between the head and the abdomen? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, who disagrees? Does anyone disagree? No, okay, good job. That's absolutely right. Who can name and uh, show me where another body part is? Okay, Isabel. Antenna. Here, let's scoot over a little bit. There you go. The antenna, okay. All right. The abdomen. The abdomen, good job. Uh huh. The wings. Excuse me? The wings. The wings, yes. Now that's one thing I noticed that a lot of you did not have. And insects have wings, okay? There are wings. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, so we've identified the antenna the thorax, the wings. What was the other one we identified? Ms. Hollenbeck's getting out, she's forgetting. The what? Huh? The thorax, okay. Who can name another body part from up here? Um, Brian, come on up. The head. The head, good. Skylar, can you identify another body part we haven't mentioned? The uh, bondman. The abdomen, okay, the abdomen, good job. Now one thing that a lot of you, now I noticed that um, uh, Drake had these uh, on his um, drawing, and notice there is another extension here. Does anyone look at your, look carefully at your um, cricket. Does yours have this, it looks like a stick on the end there. Does it have that extension at the end? Some will, some won't. Some will, some won't. Raise your hand if you're a cricket. Raise your hand if you, if you have a cricket that has that extension. Raise that, raise your hand. You might not have one, and that's okay. Um, okay, look up here. Put your crickets down, look up here. Okay, this is called an ovipositor. And this is an ovipositor. What that does, that's on females. And it's a tube. And what that tube does is, is it delivers the eggs, the eggs go through that tube, and they deliver it in the ground, okay? And so that's how they deliver their eggs, their little babies, their little eggs, okay? For fertilization and growth, okay? So that's an ovipositor. Now if, I want you to turn to page 19. You're going to answer three and four because you're going to look to see if you can find the following body parts on your cricket. If you don't have it labeled on your cricket, please label the body parts, okay? Yes. Um, I still have my question from earlier. Um, what are those two lines on the back of them? Okay. Those um, are like Celia. They're... Um, they're little hairs. They're little hairs. And what they do, what do you think they might do? Mm hmm. Help them in case they get lost. How would it help them in case they get lost? Like, it senses when they're close and it does it. Okay, he is right that they're sensors. He is right that they're sensors. So they can feel, uh, feel, and plus it helps. Have you heard the crickets make the noise when they rub their legs? Mm -hmm. Okay, that also helps in that too because it's got the little. Uh, they had the little hairy parts on those back legs. And um, it is the males that make the noise, not the females. Because one is going to sing, uh, they want to compete for the females. And so they want to say, oh, I'm the prettiest singer. So they're going to do that, okay? Okay, Allie, would you please read? Gently touch the tip of your pencil 
to one of the Cricket's antenna. What does it do? Okay, so you're going to, and you're going to choose one person in your group. And we're going to let the leaders do that. The leader in each group is going to have that job. And you're going to just gently touch it. I'm not going to do it for you because I want you to observe what happens. When you just gently touch the antenna, you're not going to stab it. You're just going to gently touch that antenna, okay? Gently touch that antenna. You can see what you're doing. No, just one person. Look, but you need to observe what he does. No, they intend. Please write down your observations. Put the lid back on the, the, the container. And please write down your observations. Be ready to share. Remember, when you're writing detail, you're painting a picture with words. Okay. I would like the reporter on each team to tell me what you observed. The reporter on each team. Now, the reporter on this team. Who's the reporter on this team? Okay, can you tell me what you observed? It just started to run away in oh. a circle. It started to run in a circle. Okay, do you have any ideas why that, that might have happened? No. No? Okay. Does anybody on your team have an idea? Go ahead. Because, um... Maybe um, he w the cricket was thinking that we were trying to threaten it. Okay, so by, by, by feeling that on his antenna, he thought that might have been a threat, so he's running away. All right, good thinking. Um, who is the reporter in this group? Are you the reporter in your group? Can you tell me, um, can you tell the class? What yours did? The cricket jumped and ran around the box. He almost got out. Okay, good. Um, who is the... Uh, thank you. I, guys, I'm liking your reasoning. I'm liking your responses. Um, Drake? Uh, who is the um, uh, reporter on this team? You are? Okay. Can you tell us what happened when the pencil was touched to the antenna? Um, when um, we was trying to uh, touch the, ant, I mean, the cricket with the pencil, um, it kept on running away in circles, and and we didn't get to touch it because it kept on jumping. Okay. Well, we touched it a couple times, but when we actually did touch it, there were some times we touched it a couple times and it stayed still. If we tried to touch it again, then the second time we tried to touch it, it ran off. Okay, all right, nice job. Okay, I would like my materials people to come up here. What you're going to do, what the material managers are going to do when they get back to their... Uh, uh, de uh, desks, they're going to fold their, their um, piece of construction paper in half. They're going to make a tent. It's going to look like a tent. And we're going to see what happens when we put this little tent inside the container. What do you think the cricket will do? First of all, I want you to turn to someone in your group, and I want you to... Within your group, talk about you can go on back. Talk about what you think might happen when this is in there. I think it gets intense. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen when the tent? is placed inside the container. What do you think? I thought that it would just go inside of it and hide. Okay, all right. Jay? Um, I think it might be trying to um, smell or get the sense on something to figure out what it is because most of the crickets um, do do that in case it's like a, in a in case it's like a danger or something. Okay. Do you think he'll uh, go inside it or go on top of it or what do you think he'll do? I think he's gonna go inside. Okay. All right. All right. Let's observe. Uh, please put these. You can open up the cages. Have your friends have the team do it together, and make sure put the, put the lid back on top so that the cricket doesn't hop out. 
Okay, now give it a few minutes. Let it, let's see what happens after a few minutes. Just just watch and see what it does. It's kind of observing it. Okay. Yeah, the small one's going crazy. Look. Yeah, I think the small one's trying to get out there, and the big and the big one's just like walking around and not getting yeah. it. Now, what? What I want you to do now, and this, we're going to add our crickets to our terrarium. Wait a minute. You need to listen to all instructions first. Are eyes on me? Okay. You're going to carefully wait, uh, lift the lid, and then you can dump this out and then take the, the tent out. And you, I want you to watch and see what happens. I will give you a lid for the containers in a moment. But go ahead and put your cricket in and observe. Do it. No, do it. Whatever. Yeah. Don't put it in the bucket. Don't put the bucket in there. Don't put the Give me five. Give me five. Go ahead and put the lid on your terrarium and finish finish writing your observation on number seven, please. Describe how they move and what they do and where they go. Maybe it's tired. Maybe he needs some food. Or maybe he some has food. food in there. What do you think the food is? The grass. The grass. Okay. Let's let's write our observations. I know. Let's write our obs. Did did you describe? Did you paint a picture with words? Can you, uh, you, you still need to complete your writing, but who would like to, while we're finishing up our writings, who would like to share their observations? The cricket walked around at first. He ate some grass, then we couldn't find him. And I saw some grass wiggling. Then, and he was in the dirt. But he climbed out and ate some more grass. After that, he climbed all over the grass. Okay, very good. Now, he said something very interesting that, um, uh, that he couldn't see him uh, at first in the grass, that they couldn't uh, think, think about what the cricket looks like, think about the coloring of the grass, and can you tell me... Um, about the color of the cricket and the grass and why that's important. It must have been camouflage in itself because, uh, because of the predators. And he could have turned itself green or brown. And when he camouflages itself, he, he blends into the grass. Okay, he blends into the grass, so it's kind of the same color of the grass sometimes, and the brown, uh, sort of the dirt. So he's hiding, isn't he? Um, uh, excellent, excellent. All right, we have been exploring, books should be in your lap. We have been exploring crickets, okay? 
I want you um, to turn to a person next to you. You can group yourself in threes or two. Wait a minute. You don't know what you're going to talk about yet. Okay. And I want you to tell me, or I want you to discuss with, with each other, what were the most interesting things you found? Maybe something new you learned, something interesting, or um, um, just something surprising, okay? All right, turn and, turn and discuss. When I was observing the crickets, I found something out in it. It was about the back legs. I didn't even know they had back legs. I didn't know they had antennas either. Um, I a new thing I learned about insects. I didn't, I didn't see the wings on the cricket. I think the cricket was trying to lay down or maybe it was like sleepy because it maybe was tired because it was eating too much grass or too much grass. Okay, would you start us out and share with us then? Um, um, the, cric um the crickets and, and, and my team's terrarium, um, they, um, one was, one was digging, one was digging a hole to make to make its home, and the other one was exploring around the terrarium. Okay, so it was digging. Okay, okay. Um, pick someone who wants to share, or or, or they might want to uh, comment on what you said. Melissa. Uh, well, uh, my group did almost the same exact thing, just you didn't dig. Didn't dig. Okay. So, what? Well, tell me in your your own words. What did it do? It uh, it hopped around on grass. Okay. And when he got on the hill, he hopped down. It was kind of funny. It was a girl. Okay. And you knew that because it had the little uh, the little like a tube. Yeah, okay, tube. do you remember what that was called? No. No? Who, who remembers what that's called and help her out? You can, you can choose who you want to help you out. It's what, it's what the female has to deliver the um, baby somewhere. Okay, good, good. All right, good job. Um, what's, what was surprising? And we, we, we touched it, we observed it, we... Um, uh, we looked to see what it would do when a tent was inside. We looked and, and saw uh, how it reacted to its new home. Okay, what was surprising, James? Me and Ethan said we didn't know it could fly. Uh, did it fly or did it jump? It jumped um, half of um, Melissa and, um, and I almost saw it fly, but it got scared. Okay, well, did the wings surprise you? Is that what, is that what you're, so you didn't think it had wings, right? Okay, all right, so that was an interesting discovery. It surprised, it surprised me when, um, when it, when it kept on, like, every single time we took our eyes off, off the cricket, when we was right in it, we, um, put it back on the cricket, we couldn't find the cricket, and then somehow it, like, camouflaged into the dirt, and it was eating the seeds and stuff. Okay. All right. Now, um, you guys told, uh, you guys uh, found out how a plant gets its food. It makes its food. Okay. That's why it's a producer. It makes its food. How do you think the cricket's going to get its food? Does it make its own food? How does it... How does it get its food? Mm -hmm. The crickets get their food by eating the grass. And eating the grass. the grass? Okay, she thinks it eats the grass. How many feel the same way? How many feel that it would eat the grass? Okay. All right, what else? Anything else? Is that the only plant it might eat? Yes. It could go out and find plants to eat, and sometimes it might eat other animals. Do you think it eats animals? Okay. How, how many think crickets only eat grass or other plants? Okay. Okay, and we're going to find that out. How many think crickets eat grass and other animals or other insects? Okay. We Two? Okay. So we have a couple of people 
Who think they eat both? Do we know what we call an animal that eats both gra uh, plants and animals? Yes. Uh, I forgot. You forgot? Okay, think about it and share again in a moment. Would you say what type of animal eats both plants and other, other consumers? Omnivore. Other animals? Okay, so an omnivore. That's right. So we're going, to we're going to decide if it's, what do we call if it only eats meat? Huh? Meat eaters. Yes, they are meat eaters, but there is another, another word for that. But meat eaters is still correct. What else? Uh huh. Animal eaters. Okay. Carnivores. Carnivores. Very good. So we've got carnivores, omnivores. What if it only eats plants? What do we call those animals that eat only plants? Or herbivores. Herbivores. Good job. Now. We have begun our food chain, and we're going to continue it tomorrow. I'm going to give you a word to think about, and it may be a word you've heard before. It may not be. I'm going to challenge you overnight to find out what you think it might be, and that word is decomposer. Well, don't, well, we're thinking about it right now. I want you to check on it, and tomorrow we will share